Welcome back to my way. A sunset cruise along the pristine waters of the Malulaba River is something everyone should experience, especially aboard this 114-year-old boat. The inspiration for the experience was born from the special childhood memories of the sea. I was very determined that a lot of people told me that it, it wasn't possible or it was too much of a risk and, and you know, being an old timber boat, over 100 years old, the amount of work involved, but I knew deep inside that that's what I wanted to do. I want to spend my time working on an old boat and looking after a, a part of history. I'm Simon and this is my dream. Both my parents are sailors. We spent the first six years of my life sailing up and down the Queensland coastline on an old timber. It was a mission boat from the Torres Straits. My favourite memory as a child was just going to a new island somewhere, going ashore to a beach and looking for coconuts. I just, I remember vividly as a kid, that was the most exciting thing in the world. You just think, I guess I always just thought it was like where no one else had ever been there. The tranquility and the peacefulness, and even sleeping. If I was to go and, and spend a night on, on our boat now, I would sleep 10 times better than I would on any, any house in, in a bedroom. So everywhere I've worked or, or lived, I need to be close to the, to the ocean to have that, I guess it's that connection that you don't often think about, but it has to be there. Simon's family eventually pulled up anchor and decided to call Malulaba home. After finishing school, he returned to the water as a commercial diver. The job took him around the world, but eventually he returned home to start life with his partner, Jenna. And we were just sort of talking about different ideas, what we could do and, and, and start something here. And, and I knew I wanted, it had to be an old timber boat. That was, the, that was the, the base. It had to be something historic, had to be timber. And this beautiful old boat, the Spray of the Coral Coast, she is built in 1908. So she's actually 114 years old this year. She's a genuine part of maritime history. Much original as, as we can, hence all the, uh, all the old um, gauges and instruments. We gathered all the history, we put a big file together and submitted to the National Maritime Museum. Those funnels are all original, so there's one on the other side there as well. So she's listed on there as a heritage vessel for forever now. To be able to, to feel all the timber and see everything and walk around, it's, yeah, I think it, it creates the perfect authentic experience. Okay, good morning everyone, you're welcome to come on down. And as a First Nations man, Simon felt it was important to incorporate the local Indigenous culture into the experience they were creating. Here on the beautiful sunny day on the Sunshine Coast in Malulaba, we're also on Gubby Gubby or Cubby Cubby Country. Being able to share that with the general public, um, I think there's a real gap. We've realised now how many people really want to have that connection, really want to learn from First Nations people about food and culture. It's probably the most rewarding part is, is people's reactions and people's enjoyment to having that connection. Beautiful homemade bush yeah. tomato relish. Native bush tucker, which started off as a small component of the tours, has become a major feature in sharing local Indigenous culture. So just putting some more sunset rub on there on these kangaroo cofters. The food has definitely progressed from just having food for the sake of food, coming on the boat, to wanting to have a, a very much bush tucker inspired native food menu on the boat. Connection to indigenous culture, learning about the native foods, how they were used and, and how great they taste and how you can use them in everyday cooking. And the food is, is progressing weekly, it has right, right since the start. So we're going to go for a trip up the river today. We do stay inside the river. We won't be crossing the bar. I honestly feel like I enjoy it just as much as everyone else, and, and especially when we've got musicians on board. Yeah, I often forget I'm at work. It's, it's great. <laughs> it's, it's and to bring things full circle, Simon and Jenna are now raising their daughter to have a passion for ocean life. Yeah, Where are we going? We're going to go in a water. What's in the water? So Malu, um, our little girl, and she loves being on board, so she loves talking about picking up all the people and um, greeting everyone, and <laughs> she loves it. So we, we try and get her on board as much as we can, and that's mostly just to get her used to being on the water and, and hopefully keep that connection and, and enjoyment as well, being out on the water. 
it doesn't feel real. It's, I guess it's a bit surreal. <laughs> Every now and then I step back and just think, wow, this is, you know, it's only a few years ago that this was just a, a dream that we thought we'd never be able to achieve. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a good feeling for sure. For more ideas like this, head to visit sunshinecoast.com or to make a direct booking with Simon, jump onto the Saltwater Eco Tours website.